What's up guys, PJ here with 3D Printing Canada. Today we're gonna make you some money if you're interested. So what we've got here is a crypto mining rig, holds up to eight video cards, uh, as well as a motherboard power supply. So we're gonna show you how to build that in just a minute. Okay guys, we're gonna take you into step one here. We've got some V-slot extrusion, along with some diamond plate and some T-plate we're gonna be installing, uh, as well as we have here some, these are drop-in M5 T-nuts, okay? You can also slide them in if you want. Uh, I'll leave that entirely up to you guys. Um, so I've already put one piece of the extrusion together uh, just to make things a little easier. So what I'll do first is show you. So in this one, you're gonna need three of them. You can either drop them in, and you can take a screwdriver or a hex wrench and pop them in like so. Or if you have an opening, you can feel free to slide them in. Okay, so we're gonna take one of our M five by eight nuts, okay? We're going to take that, put it into one of our diamond plates, and we're just gonna screw one down to start. It popped out on me. So then what I like to do afterwards is slide down to the next hole. Go ahead and take your M five by eight bolt. Go ahead and thread it into your drop-in T-nut. And I'll slide down to the next hole so you can see. And go ahead and pop that one in. And once you got it, now don't over tighten these. That way you can move them around. Just snug them up. Then what I like to do is drop in the next set. This time you only need two. and your longer piece of extrusion, which is, you've, we've got 320 and 480. Now, sometimes these things can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, guys. Don't get frustrated, just persevere and move forward. So again, I'll line up one of the nuts. Make sure the other one's a little little bit on point first. And again, I'm only snugging these down. I'm not cranking them down. So then you're gonna go ahead and repeat that process all the way around. Okay guys, without boring you and showing you how to install the drop-in T-nuts again, what I'm gonna do is just show you how to put these um, plates on, the T-plates themselves for the middle bar. It's actually really simple, guys. You just three in the shorter, three by 320 millimeter section, and then two of them in the 480 by millimeter section. And then again, same process, it's actually really simple. So just put the screws in and snug them up, don't over tighten. So actually guys as well, uh, make sure you're using the right side with the countersunk holes, not the flat side. So that's gonna be really important, okay? So just make sure you go ahead and use those on the right side. The nice thing about these drop-in nuts, if it's not perfectly lined up, you can, before you put your bolt in, go ahead and take your driver and just align it up to make it a little bit easier for yourself when you put in your eight millimeter bolt. It's actually an eight by five. Okay, now I'm not gonna measure this on camera, guys, but I will before we build the rig. So between the middle bars here, 120 millimeter fan's gonna need to go, so you're gonna need to make that distance at 120 millimeters in between here. And again, that's why I don't tighten things down yet because you're gonna have to manipulate it and move it into place potentially. Okay guys, on to the next step. Now that you've got both of your sides built, you wanna go ahead 
And now we're gonna put those two sides together. You're gonna need three of the 320 millimeter sections on either side. So you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing again. Slide in three T-nuts on each end and then two on your stand up. And what I like to do is just repeat that around all four corners and then we'll move on to the step of putting the middle ones in. Okay guys, so next, what you're gonna wanna do is again, three of the lock-in T-nuts here. You're gonna go ahead and install those. Bolt on your T-section, two of the drop-in T-nuts here, two more bolts. It's pretty straightforward and basic, right? And again, you're gonna go the whole way around. Okay, now that we've got all the uprights in place and your top's already built, you're gonna go ahead and take that top Place it on top. Now, if you're like me, you'll go ahead and preset the drop-in T-nuts, like I did here. That's where, now this is the part where your bottom feet are gonna come into play. So you're gonna have one, two, three, and four. So that'll be for your bottom feet. And then you have your top pieces, which are gonna go on the opposite side. And if you've left everything nice and loose, not too loose, but snug, you can move everything and fit it around how you'll need. And these will just do the same thing on the opposite side along with your T-slot piece. All right, guys, so that's the finished build. So also included in the package, there'll be some extra brackets for your power supply, your motherboard, and your video cards, etc. cetera. Um, we'll leave that up to you where you wanna place them. If you wanted to add anything else, you can go ahead. It will hold up to eight video cards. Um, so hope that was informative and hope to see you guys making some money on some cryptocurrency. Like and subscribe. You can cut that part in. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you like this kind of content, down in the comments section, let us know what you wanna see next.